Cableize probe function reports the pin number it finds when you touch the probe to a connector pin or to a bare wire coming from a single-ended cable, as you see here. This function can be very useful tracing wires terminating in a molded cable, confirming proper continuity in a cable, or determining connections through a long cable buried in an equipment cabinet or whose path is otherwise hidden from view. In this example, we'll confirm the connections of the single-ended molded DB9 cable you see here. To use the probe function, first connect it to the tester. Set the active test point switch to 152. Then on the video screen, check the probe box. Notice that the test cable button changes to start. Click Start to activate the probe. Now I'll touch the probe to several wires so you can see how this works. Pin 4 Pin 5 Several things have happened. First, a synthetic voice reads the terminating pin of the wire I touched. Second, the pin number appears in large type within a balloon graphic so you can easily read it from a distance. And finally, a highlighted wire appears in the graphic display showing the wiring connection to this pin. I'll touch several more wires so you can see this again. Pin 3. Pin 6. Pin 2. Notice that the graphic on the screen remembers every wire I've touched, so I'll know when all wires are represented. The speech function lets you know which pin you've touched without needing to look up at the screen. This can be very helpful if you don't want to lose your place when probing a dense or complex connector. Several different voices are available, as well as voices in Spanish, French, or German. Or you may turn the voice off completely if you prefer. Now let's make a note of which wire color is associated with which pin. I'll stop the probe, clear the results we've obtained so far, and start over. I'll also need to access the test data properties in order to enter the wire colors, so I'll slide the match data window down to expose the properties table. Now we'll start again. Pin 4. This is the yellow wire. So I'll choose the color property and select yellow. Pin 3. Orange. Pin 5. Green. Pin 6. Blue. Now I'll save the test results in the database for future reference. Finally, I'll print the results to keep with the single-ended cable we've tested.